All right, everybody, we are back with the leveling series. And now we are going to head over to Verhonga Savannah. This was the second most requested on the poll. So that is where we are going now. So I hope you guys enjoy. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to do Verhonga Savannah recently. So here you are. All right, so the intro just finished. We are now going to head up to this watchtower and real quickly grab that, then head over to the lodge, which is right here. So let's go do that. There we go. First lookout point. Hopefully, while it's doing this little flyby, maybe we'll be able to see something. Doesn't look like it, though. So let's do a quick little scout from up here. I do want to see if we can spot any animals. If we could spot something right now, that would be fantastic. We could just take a shot from right here. But it doesn't really look like there's anything in the immediate area. Oh, except there actually is a wildebeest right there. I guess... We can see if we can hit it. That was indeed a hit. Hopefully it will die. Alright, there it is. Let's get another shot into it. There we go. That is a dead wildebeest. So we'll go grab this lodge and then drive over to claim the wildebeest. Then we'll go to pick up a couple lakes. Get a couple of the lodges that are next to lakes and set up a tent at one of the better lakes, probably. All right, everybody, we are here at the first lodge. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Now, this particular one I don't really use too often. It's not the most useful. There's not really any good water or anything like that near it. There are a few feeding zones, but I really never go to this one. So we're going to go ahead and claim that wildebeest and then head over to this lodge. This is going to be a much more valuable lodge to have because you can now go down to these two lakes. And this one right here has lions and springbok and I believe some kudu also. So it's a good one to be able to go to. So let's go ahead and get our ATV and then we will head over there. Alright, so I went ahead and went over and grabbed that wildebeest. I forgot to resume my recording though, so yeah. It wasn't a very good one though. Scored, I believe, 36. So yeah, let's head over to that other lodge now. Alright. We are at this lodge finally. This is the lodge that I really wanted to unlock the most. Because as I said before, amazing spot for lion and springbok and some kudu. And it gives us close access to this lake right here. We probably will put a tent somewhere over here eventually. But I'm not sure if we'll do that right now. But anyway, let's head over to this lake and see if we can kill anything good there. We'll actually do here a lion. And it's chasing. So hopefully we'll get a look at it. I do want to see if it's a legendary, even though we can't really kill them yet. Oh, we actually do have some Springbok. Go ahead and kill as much of these as we can, actually. Believe that'll put that guy down. All right, let's go grab these little guys. We got one wildebeest and a few springbok. Wildebeest should be pretty close because we did hit it twice, and at least one of those shots was a vital hit, as we can see right here. So I doubt it ran off very far, and in fact, it is right here. What do we got there? Uh, let's go ahead and kill that guy. Uh, not with a tent. Well, should take care of that, Kudu. Alright, so back to claiming these guys. There's that wildebeest. Now let's go get those springbok. We shot quite a few of them. Alright, here's one of those little springbok. A little level 2. Pretty much hit every single organ on that little guy. I think we're going to go grab that kudu now because it's pretty close to us. As far as I remember. Here we go. Here's that little kudu, a little level three. Not sure how those are missing. All 
All right, that one should go down. You honestly don't really need to hit the Kudu vitally with the 30 out six for it to kill them. So when we're just trying to get money like we are right now and levels, I'll pretty much just try to hit them wherever I can as they're running away. All right, here's that little Kudu. Yeah, we just got two flesh hits on that one. I haven't been able to see any of the other Springbok that we downed. I don't remember where I killed all of them. That is the one <laughs> unfortunate thing about just killing everything you see. A few of them do get away. Because, yeah, I don't know where any of these guys went. All right, well, I've been running around for a little bit now and don't see anything. After going through this area multiple times around all of these spots that have hunting pressure, I've not found any more blood. So either the tracks just disappeared or I didn't hit as many of them as I thought I did. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to move over to that lake that I was talking about and see if we can get anything over there. All right, so we got ourselves some Gemsbok right there. Let's see if we can get a couple down because they are really good money also. Easily some of the best cash in the game, so we definitely want to get a few of them down. All right, so here's one of those Gemsbok. A level four, 288. Not too bad. A decent Gemsbok, and that does give us a level up. Let's go ahead and grab these other two. I'm not sure where they went off to. Oh, one of them's right here, actually. And the other one is vitally hit. Nice. Yeah, they give a decent amount of cash and XP, which is really nice. Let's go find that last one. See where the blood track heads to. It looks like... There's not really any tracks in the immediate area, so we might have to move around a little bit until we find them. Alright, so here's our last little Gemsbok. I don't think it left a single track this whole time. Good thing it didn't run too far, or else this could have been hard to find. But there we go. 874 cash on this one, because it was a female and a pretty small one at that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a tent set up. Probably, probably right here. Because this is going to be a really good lake to come and farm money. Because there's always so many animals here. A lot of times there'll be plenty of Gemsbok, Springbok, Lions, Wildebeest, Kudu. Pretty much everything that you can think of comes to this lake, including Warthogs. I think actually pretty much every animal does except Cape Buffalo. So yeah, it's a pretty crazy good lake. And that's a nice looking level four. And we got a warning call from a Kudu. I definitely want to see what this kudu is, because it is a male. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be a level 5. There we go. There's that little kudu. There we go. Three shots later, we finally got him. I'm not even sure what I was thinking with that first shot. That aim was way off. Anyway, let's try to find a spot where we can put this. There we go. So we now have a tent right here. This will be a good lake to go to for money, as I was saying. And just to potentially get some diamonds, since you can get so many different animals here, it's always a good place to look. We actually do have some more kudu right down there. One of them is a decent level four, so we'll kill that four real quickly. And I forgot to reload. That probably would have been helpful. We could have got multiple kudu if we had reloaded. That's not too bad that we got ourselves a gold level 4 kudu. 1147 cash. Not too bad at all. Oh my gosh. Hello? Nice. That should be three more Gemsbok dead. And they're up here, so we're not risking deleting any zones. Alright, so here is the nice one, I believe. It is a level four, but it does score 302. Not too bad. That's the best one we've killed as of now. That is the best one that we've killed. I will take that any day. Gives a hefty 270 XP, too. They honestly are super good XP. So we might actually hunt Gemsbok a little more, just because they give such high XP. Let's go ahead and pick these up. 266 on this guy. 1100 cash. 
And this guy, 1173 cash and scores 267. All right, everybody, we have finally made it at one of the far north outposts. So let's go ahead and unlock this. This lake right here that's next to it is a very good spot to find lions, Cape buffalo, among other species. But those are the main ones that you will get over here. I actually have found a troll dark colored Gemsbok level five at this exact lake. It is a really good one. So we're right here as of now. The lake is down here. Next place we're going to head is over here, because this is probably the best Cape Buffalo Lake on the entire map. Super, super good. Always a ton of them there. And there's also quite a bit of other species, including Springbok, Warthog, uh, Jackals go there, Kudu go there. A lot of different stuff is at that lake also. So we definitely want to go get that now. Go ahead and kill one of these while they're running away. That actually looked like a decent little springbok. Ow. Oh, we might die. We might die. Okay, we're lucky. We got lucky. That could have been really bad. In fact, just in case. Oh, I actually don't have a tent. Oh, get away from me. We don't want any accidents. But we do want a springbok. Let's go ahead and grab this and the little warthog. That poor little thing. It got the 30 out 6 treatment. Alright, here's the warthog. Ooh, we hit vertebrae on it. Well, we're now up to 27k cash. So we got a decent amount of cash now. So I'm feeling a lot better about that. We should be able to sustain ourselves. Let's go ahead and unlock this lodge. Alright, there we go. We now have the other really good northern outpost unlocked. This is going to be the best lake to come for Cape Buffalo. So that's the main reason I wanted to get it. Now, real quickly, I want to see where we are on XP. We are actually really close to the next level. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to kill a couple more things before we end. Just so we can get that last level up. In fact, I might shoot a couple of these Cape Buffalo, even though we don't have the proper caliber. But we actually might be able to get the proper caliber. Let me go look. Okay, so we do have the 7mm and the 4570 unlocked. We just need to earn enough cash for them. So I think in one of the near future episodes, we will just grind up cash to get the 7mm. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. But anyway, let's go kill a couple of those Cape Buffalo with the 30-06 just so that we can get the XP. If something else shows up that's easier to kill than them, I'll probably kill those instead, but we'll go for the Buffalo for now. Is that what I think it is? Are you kidding me? Well, everybody, it looks like we're going to be doing a bow hunt for a legendary Cape Buffalo. This is going to be interesting to say the least <laughs> but let's see what bows we can get i don't want to do any of the free bows until we've purchased a bow just to make it fair so we could get the razorback or the bear claw i think we'll get the bear claw let's go ahead and purchase that and make sure we have some of the big arrows so let's get the uh we're gonna need the 600 grain now I don't have them unlocked but this is really the only way we can kill this guy so I don't know what else we could do I'm sure you guys will be all right with me doing this for now so we're gonna go with the 600 grain tracer arrows for now there he is directly across from us in his drinking zone so this will hopefully make it easier to stock up on him Ideally, I kind of want him to charge us because I actually don't remember what the default zeroing distance is for the bows and we don't have the zeroing perk unlocked. So I'm pretty sure it's defaulted at 40 meters. So yeah, we might have to aim slightly low if it's within 40. This is the second trophy that we found in the past few days that just happens to be something that I didn't have on my main Call of the Wild account. 
So it's it's sad, but I'm happy at the same time. Okay, for some reason they are traveling. I don't think I spooked them, but it's kind of looking like I did. We might have to wait for this guy to come back down. I'm going to take this opportunity to move closer though, because he's about 240 meters out. So we can run a little bit. But hopefully he comes back. I don't really want to have to reset the time again. But I will if I have to. Alright, so I was walking over here and they spooked off. And yeah, so I had to reset the time. But they're now in a different spot. As you can see, they are drinking clear up there. So yeah, this is going to be harder than I initially thought because now they're kind of in a bad spot on top of a hill. It's going to make it really hard to sneak up there. And I'm pretty sure he's clear in the back. So yeah, that makes it even worse for us. But we'll get him eventually. We just got to be patient and try not to spook him as we stock up. Yeah, I see those massive horns in the back. So he is clear behind all of them. That's going to make this so much harder. But hopefully we can get a good angle and be able to take our bow shot. All right, so we're getting very close. I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. I've been crawling for about probably five or six minutes now. Just trying to get up to this guy as quietly as I can since he's in such a bad spot. I'm at a point where I can kind of hear their footsteps. So I'm just really hoping that I don't accidentally spook them or turn one of the females aggressive. Either way, it would be really unfortunate for us since we've spent this much time tracking them and spotting and trying to sneak up. But hopefully we can successfully get this guy down. Okay, so we are incredibly close now and I'm actually a little more scared than I was before because I didn't realize how close I'm actually going to be to these guys once I'm finally able to see them. This could go very, very wrong. And it probably will, to be honest. But let's hope that we can, if nothing else, at least get him to go aggressive on us. That way we get the perfect opportunity to take a shot. So it looks like the Cape Buffalo had actually already moved on. As far as I can tell, they might have actually gone down to the true drinking zone. Fact, uh, they did. So we pretty much did that entire stock for nothing. But in the end, this is probably better. They're in a much nicer spot to hunt them. So yeah, let's go get this guy now. Okay, so they've noticed me. I'm not sure if it's my scent because the wind is kind of not in our favor. Or if they heard me. We're going to slowly move to the left, kind of out of the wind. All right, so our level nine is still drinking right there. We're about 50 meters out from him, as you can see by the waypoint. But yeah, this is this has been a very slow stalk. But hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. He's he definitely notices we're here. Ooh, hoo -hoo, he turned right as I was getting lined up. Uh oh. He's running off. Maybe we can get him to attack us. That's unfortunate, honestly. That is unfortunate. Well, now we're going to have to waste a bunch of time trying to get this guy to calm down again. <sighs> he just would not stay still for me to take a shot, so I couldn't do it. There's no way I could take one of those shots and feel comfortable about it. Okay, so he's actually coming back. I guess what we'll do now is just get in position and wait. Probably going to be our best bet just to wait for him to come to us. Unless he starts drinking up there, which is always possible. But as long as he comes this way, we're lined up perfectly now. There he is. Currently, he is... 126 meters out. Hope he does come back to his zone. It looks like he is though. Thankfully, he is coming back. There he is, finally. We got him right where we need him. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm a little worried. I think we hit vertebrae. Ooh, that's actually vital blood. Oh my gosh. I think we hit vertebrae and lung. Ooh, holy. That was quite the hunt. Oh my gosh. But we got him down. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And it is a diamond 162. We did barely clip the lung. Jeez, it's a max weight, and I believe that's max score too. I think this is max score. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, well that's the least, that's like the last thing I expected really. Max scoring, max weight. Bighorn's Cape Buffalo with a bow. That is insane. I'm so happy right now. It took me about an hour just to get this guy tracked down and actually on the ground. He was not cooperating whatsoever. But, oh my gosh, we finally got him. And we have a perk and skill point to put in, so let's go ahead and do that too. Let's get move and shoot. That's a good one to get, like I was saying earlier. And then let's get soft feet. Alright, so now that we got those, let's go into our trophy lodge. Alright, so... For now, I think we're going to put this guy right here. That is quite the impressive trophy. And actually, he doesn't look too good there because he's kind of facing the opposite way. So let's put him up here. There we go. Beautiful diamond max weight bighorns cape buffalo. I still can't believe we were able to get him down with the bow. That's pretty awesome. So far, we've got a decent amount of trophies. We've got at least one good thing in each of the last episodes. That's pretty awesome. We got our Cape Buffalo, our Albino Grizzly Bear, Piebald black tailed Deer, and our Diamond Pronghorn. So yeah, this is coming along pretty nicely and we are now level 13. So at level 13 we have two rares and two diamonds. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. So it really does show that if you know a decent amount about the game, you can get your diamonds and rares pretty early. Just a matter of knowledge of the game. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video, but that is going to be the end. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.